Right, well, hello and welcome. Now, this is Nate. Hope y'all are having a wonderful day today. <laughs> so today I have for you a Deer Valley home. This is called the Amon. It is 32 by 70. Going to be a three bedroom, two bath. Now this was done in wind zone three. You can get it in wind zone two. So we've got, as I said, three bedrooms, two bathrooms. Now under the normal Deer Valley, you can see they usually use these a little bit darker colors. The inside, they went with some lighter colors in this one for the wood trims. You also have a large back deck, which we'll come around and take a look at. It can be your back door for your utility closet. Utility closet, it's gonna be the utility room. Of course, there's our, our water faucet. There's our electrical outlet. But here's that back porch. Now we'll step out and take a better look at that once we get inside. So this is at Southern Colonial here in uh, Hadesburg, Mississippi. So of course we've got the Deer Valley shower. You can't not have the tile shower in a Deer Valley, right? You got his and her closets, the separate tub. We've got a pantry. You know, this house is loaded. And it looks really good. But before we head in, you gotta make sure you hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed, make sure you hit that button while you're there. And now we can head in. So now that we're inside, you can see you've got this really nice all shiplap wall done in a lighter color, not as dark as what normally you used when the on the Deer Valley homes. So it looks really good. And then what you haven't seen yet, yep. A real wood burning fireplace. Got the nice tan colored stonework all the way around. So this looks really, really good. So you got the beams in the ceiling that match the color of that shiplap wall over there. And of course there's one missing because they haven't trimmed out this section of the home. But it looks really, really good. I like the size of the living room, especially the colors they used. It's not a dark gray, but it's not a light gray. It's kind of a mid gray. And it doesn't feel dark in here, even though there's the only light that we're getting is coming through the windows. So we'll step over here into the dining room. And 
And you can see that shiplap comes around to this wall here. Just kind of really looks good the way it wraps around the wall there. Kind of just to have highlights and accents where that whole porch is going to be. And we do have the LVP flooring in here. We'll step out to the porch and then we'll come back and show you the pantry and then the kitchen. So what do you think so far? Of course, you put you some steps out there, or you can just extend this out and make a big patio out there, or a big deck out there. Maybe add on the dragonfly that you can get from uh, regional home builders. Add that on there, and that really look good. Or if you really wanted to step it up, you could get the dragonfly. And because it's the rough cut wood, just like a lot of the Deer Valley stuff is, boy, that would blend in really good. We got drawers over doors. Now these are really wide drawers in comparison to what you normally see. Instead of having two smaller drawers, they went with two wide drawers to cover both of the doors. And then over on this side, you've just got the smaller drawers. Pantry style cabinets. You got the brick backsplash right up to the bottom of the counters. Now your microwave is above the stove. Of course the stainless steel. Now this is an older window that Deer Valley has used. So that means that this home's been here for a little bit because the new ones are a different brand and they all tip in for cleaning. Now as we come around to the pantry, and I know I said I was going to do the pantry as soon as we came in. So I kind of just went with the flow of the way I came in. And our two guest bedrooms are off the kitchen. You got the wooden racks in the corner closet. Now this one's just your standard, you know, non-walk-in, just takes up a little bit of the bedroom area.
Can't forget the bathroom, but let me light it up a little bit. There, now we got more light to see the bathroom with. Different colored cabinets here. These are that light colored wood that was used in the uh, living room area. Transom window above the shower tub combo. I like that they went with the larger tub though. So the very end of the home is your utility room. We have our washer and dryer hookups. This is going to be the water heater. Now you do have room to put a freezer in this corner. Or you could stick one over there by the electrical panel. And then this is the furnace. I should have unlocked the other door over there. Then we could have went out to the back porch and come in that way into the primary bedroom. Now, of course, they've got a bunch of supplies in here. Really good sized bedroom. And now you would normally have double doors right here. Obviously, it's not been trimmed out completely. You've got a bench as soon as you walk in to sit down on. The first of your two closets. On this side of the bathroom, we're going to have a vanity mirror in your vanity area. And then your sink. Along with a tub and then you got your window now they went with a different color of tile in here and then of course you've got your Deer Valley pass-through shower Got your bench. Looks really good. Now as we come out of the shower, we can't forget to say hello to Raiden. This is the man side of the room. As you can see, it's all small. We get to have all the linen cabinets, the water closet, at least we have a window that opens, and then the men's closet. So I hope you all will go down there into the comment section and leave me a comment letting me know what, what you think of the Amon by Deer Valley Homes. And while you're there, don't forget to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, turn on those notifications, and I'll be back shortly with some price information. Thanks for watching. So welcome back to the office. Um, 
<laughs> everybody's doing good. You know, actually, my mom was the one that had, uh, had some medical issues, but uh, she's doing good. Probably going to be coming home in the next day or two. Thank you all for sticking with me here. So I want to point out on the floor plan, you'll see it says down at the bottom, 32 by 70. But if you look at the measurements on the plan itself, it says 30 by 66. That's why all the measurements are estimated because I don't know if it says 66, are those rooms actually, you know, the size that the floor plan says, or are they larger being 32 by 70? So I'm, I was kind of unsure based off of the floor plan that I was given. The rooms could actually be bigger than what I said they are in the estimated sizes there. So I just kind of wanted to clear that up real quick. But now we got to get some price information. So this was at Southern Colonel Homes in uh, Hadesburg, Mississippi. You know, they're, they've been around since the 70s, so they've been doing this for a long time. So they're not going anywhere. They got really good prices on their homes. Part of the reason they can get a little bit better pricing on their homes is, as you saw, it was, wasn't completely finished. And they don't have power, so they can cut down on the electricity things like that, that they can then pass that savings on. Doesn't show as good as if it was fully trimmed out and staged. It's one or the other, right? <laughs> pay a little more and have it looking good when you when I film, or pay a little less and have it look like this. This home is going for right around $240,000 as shown. Depending on options you get, you know, when you order it, it may be a little bit more, maybe a little less. Depends on where you have it delivered. There could be extra freight charges, things like that. I got to go make some phone calls. Hope you all have a wonderful day. So don't forget to check out uh, this home over here. Or I might even throw up a Deer Valley right there. But anyway, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Have a good night. Bye.